Are you about to cry? Because I want, if you are, I want to get it on camera. No, I'm not going to cry. Hi everyone, we're in Egmont National Park today. Yay. We are going to be doing an overnight hike. This time we are a lot more prepared. There's loads more prepared. Yeah. Yeah. We've got 20.3, 20 20.6 kilometers there and back. We are expected to take five to six hours. It is now 11.16 a.m. So in true Mikea fashion, we are running late. We are running behind. If you saw our video of the Pinnacles, you would have seen that we were not very prepared for that hike. We didn't bring enough food. We didn't bring enough water. We didn't really know what we were doing. And we decided to camp. Whereas this time, things are different. Yeah, we're in the hut. We've got more food for dinner, for breakfast, snacking. We've got protein bars. We've got electrolyte drinks, more water. Like we have learned all of our lessons and we are going to smash it this time. Yes, we're definitely going to try and smash it this time. <laughs> we are going to be hiking to Puaikai Hut via the Kaiuai track. <laughs> Maria drew the short straw there. <laughs> So come with us as we do our second overnight hike. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> why, why Egmont? Um, it's probably been on Maria's bucket list for New Zealand for a while. Um, it's got a really iconic looking mountain. It's very postcard worthy. Um, it's Mount Taranaki. And hopefully, all being well, we'll be able to see it. We saw it first thing this morning. We saw a little bit of it yesterday when the clouds broke for about half hour or so. It's meant to be cloudy and sunny all day today, rainy all day tomorrow, so we will do well to see it again, but fingers crossed. It's a trap. Done. And see why Maria took her sweet time now. Oh wow. Shrek, I'm looking down. Oh. <laughs> Maria was right. It's a really lovely view. That is what we have to climb. Come again for Big Fudge. That is Henry Peak, and it is what we need to climb. We have to climb over it to get to the hut. <laughs> oh boy. 1,224 meters tall. Given we've just seen how high up we need to go, and the hut is on the other side of what you've just seen, uh, now seems like as good a time as any to have a wrap, have some food, re-energize for, <laughs> for what looks really hard work. Oh boy, here we go. We've lunched and we are ready to go again. Where we're going is now shrouded and completely covered in cloud. So it's gonna get colder, it's gonna get steeper. This is where, this is where it gets tough. As nice as the ground was where we had lunch, kind of wish we'd had lunch here. We'll have some water instead. This is what happens when you don't know the trail, like you haven't prepared enough. 
looking at the trail. But now we know better for next time. Let's get going. For those of you wondering if it's possible to get lost with a map, it is still possible. We've got two options. Where Maria is, we head up that way. The other alternative was go this way, except, oh no, a tree has fallen. We're stumped. So Maria is going to explore to see if she can see any semblance of a track or a trail marker. Bingo! <laughs> She's found it. We haven't even started the ascent to, on Henry Peak. We did the ascent to get to the beginning of the ascent. Yeah, we have a long way to go still. But are we having fun? I'd say we're having fun, yeah. I'm still dreading the other half of this, but... Mm. It'll be good. On we go. Mm -hmm. I must say, this is quite unlike any hike that we've done before. <sighs> All about staying positive though. But this is, it is stunning. It's really pretty. It's just me off that it's just so difficult your feet are hurting because you're just standing on like you're trying to balance on roots of trees so like it hurts your feet we still have so far to go we're not even halfway up henry peak would you say you've peaked? I'm feeling very defeated right now. We're only halfway up the mountain. And I'm like, I can't go any further. Well, I can't go any further. And then I'm like, I can't stay here all night. It's too far to go back. We've got to keep going. We're only halfway up. I don't know if I can do another half. Meanwhile, we see mountain. Absolutely breathtaking. It really is. And then it was gone. Goodbye, Mount Taranaki. clouds now. Can't see anything. It's not the highest point on the track. What? Congratulations, you made it to the top of Henry Peak at 1,224 meters. Despite the climb, it's not the highest point on the track. Right. I need to go down because it's freaking my hands are like Let's go. Feel more happy about life? Yeah, I feel fine now. That's now I'm going down the stairs. Good. I just can't do upstairs. I just cannot do stairs. I'm going to live in a bungalow. <laughs> That's how much I despise stairs. I imagine you living in a multi-storey house, but with a lift. <laughs> yeah. So we are dangerously close to getting to the hut after sunset. This is, uh, we're cutting it fine. It's going to be close. 
that's what you potentially can see. But this is the reality. <laughs> Can't be far now. Five minutes. It's five minutes. It's a very basic, it's, it's considered a standard hut. So there's no lights, there's no electricity, there's no running water. The only thing in here is a fireplace, but it's, it's what we want. It's shelter. Yeah. Wow. So here we are. We have made it to our accommodation for the night, the hut. The sun has set, we got here just before sunset the moon's out new plymouth is lit up the clouds are rolling in it's pretty stunning we are having a dehydrated meal all we've done is boiled water and then we just pour the water into the bags and then let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then our dinner will be ready so this meal is beef bogging whatever it's, it's it's beef and mashed potato basically and we were actually gifted it by our friend tony who we met doing the pinnacles it wasn't meant to be for the ta but you know, we're hungry people so we've decided we were going to try it out now Okay, so that one's sealed up, so that can sit and wait. And then I'm going to pour the rest in here. Okay. All right, now we wait. Michael, set a timer for 15 minutes. We did 12 kilometers today to yep. get to this hut because I thought that this was the only way to see the photo point that we went to go see today that was obviously covered in clouds. <laughs> However, when we were there, we met these two German girls and they informed us that there was another route that was only two hours long. So tomorrow, we will not be hiking six hours back down the mountain in rain. We will be going two hours in the opposite direction to get down to the road and hopefully praying to god someone will be generous enough to give us a lift back to our van in other news we were in the other bunk room mm. you may notice this is not my sleeping bag no and this is not my sleeping bag <laughs> no they're, they're just rogue sleeping bags that live in this hut they got left behind extra warmth and a pillow each yeah, so, we've really, we've really lucked out. We really have, yeah. It's ended well. It was, mm. I know I was about to cry for the past, like, <laughs> the last two hours of the hike, I was on the verge of tears and crying, like, to the point I was praying yeah. because I just needed the strength to get <laughs> through that hike. <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow it's just going to be smoother. But yeah, we've had a lovely night. We had yeah, our, it's been a good night. We've had our meal that Tony gave us. And yeah, watch some Grey's Anatomy because even on the side of a mountain you can get 4G. 5G at times. 5G yeah. at times. So we will see you guys tomorrow for the continuation of our adventure. Yeah, sleep well. Oh. Good morning. We have just been startled awake by some people the path to the photo place like comes right past and i think people get curious and want to see inside the heart so we've just been woken up by some kids coming up but it's fine because we needed to get up anyway because it is 
10 to 8 and we need to get down. This experience has definitely made us rethink a lot of things. But I'd rather do two hours and figure that out than walk six hours in this. We're just not equipped. We're, We're just not equipped. We're just not yeah. equipped. No. Let's be realistic, okay? But you know what? We've learned. We've learned. We've learned where our boundary is. Yeah. We have learned where our boundary is. Wind and rain. <laughs> yeah, wind and rain. We just need to get off this mountain. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. <laughs> we have got on our emergency ponchos. We are packed. We are ready to go. The weather outside is terrible. But luckily, we've just checked the map. It is five kilometers, but it is all downhill. So we're pretty good at going downhill. We should be able to do it. It says estimated two hours. We can probably get it done in about an hour 45. And then we just have to figure out from there how to get back to our van. I admire your optimism. It's gonna happen. But we are questioning all of our life choices that have led <laughs> us to this moment. We are hiking down, we are soaking wet, our feet are wet, but it's pretty, like... It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know what? This would have been a lovely way up yes. yesterday, but, you know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. I apologise, Michael. Don't, don't apologise, we all make mistakes. So, all we have to do is we just have to get down now. So, <laughs> we just got to keep on going. made it down the mountain and you know what we did it in one hour and 46 minutes which is exactly mm. what i said we were doing it in. yeah i admired her optimism and now i admire her accuracy now. this was the safe and mature thing to do even though we have now gotten to a car park and we have no way of getting to our van or do we or do we well i did speak to a man who was sat in his car waiting for his daughter and I asked him if it was possible for him to give us a lift out of here. He has said that he's going to be back in 10 minutes and that he will be able to take us to Egmont Village. It, that's nowhere near where we need to be, but at least it's, it's nearer. <laughs> it's, it's out of the national park, which means that we can get probably more likely to get a ride. Yeah. Fingers crossed he comes back. He may not <laughs> come back. We're doing pretty well. Yeah. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us too. We have made it back to Lucy. The guy and his daughter were so sweet and they actually gave us a lift the whole way back to our van. <laughs> we were back. Honestly, if we'd been 15 minutes later, he would not have been there. He was literally just there because he was waiting for his daughter. Honestly, New Zealanders are just the best. It has been absolutely brilliant. We will see you guys next week for our next adventure make sure to like subscribe and turn on those notifications because we have you every, every monday, monday.